the shoot is gonna be about. Um, it's a shoot for a TV show here in Germany. It's a cooking show actually. I've never done something like this before, like talking that much with no script or anything. And it's gonna be pretty interesting and I'm really excited that I booked it because I applied for it like four times and now finally it worked out. <sighs> so I can't wait to do this. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty excited, but what I already know is that there's gonna be no hair or makeup on set, so I have to do it myself. And as you can see, I suck at that. So this is what we're dealing with right now. I'm done. Um, I can't do any better. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know what to do with my hair right now, because we're gonna get a microphone put on, and I don't know how they want the hair, so it's not disturbing like the mic. So, yeah, I probably have to voice over the upcoming footage because I don't know if um, I'm allowed or able to talk that much on set. Probably not. Um, and also, I don't know how much footage I'm gonna get because sometimes you're restricted to film. Now I have to pack my bag, select an outfit, and then I have to get going because it's already 10.30 and I have to get ready soon <laughs> and yeah see you in front of the mirror when I picked my outfit so this is the outfit for today we're having some black leather pants and some black boots and also this really simple black long sleeve shirt so around 11 I finally get going and go to my car so I can get to the studio and I had to be there at 12, that was my call time, and I arrived on point. And first thing I do, I fill out my contract. It's basically your name, your address, bank, account, and what were your working hours. And then I just do nothing, check on my hair, try to fix some hairs that are flying around, as you can see. Check myself out in the mirror a lot, and then I'm all pretty bored. Like I had nothing to do for two or three hours and I forgot to bring a book so I took a selfie. Uh, you might have seen it on my Instagram. <laughs> Embarrassing. And then finally the woman from costume arrived and we also got our microphones put on so it were basically the last touches before we started shooting at around 3.30. Then we headed to set. On the couch we shot the intro and outro of the show and over there is our cooking station and they were preparing all the food in between every single take. And around 7 p.m. we were finally done. We were both sweaty and tired and it looked like a mess. On the right that's my cooking station. And then we just took some last Instagram stories and also a picture. If you haven't seen it already, it's up on my Instagram. That's also Fernandi Nando. Please give it a like. And then I finally headed home because I was starving. I haven't eaten all day. So, I'm back, <laughs> as you can see. And I'm pretty tired, but... It was bloody amazing. I had so much fun and I actually am cooking there, so I'm not that awful anymore. <laughs> so as I already told you in the beginning, it was a cooking show and I can't tell you much about it, what we cooked and everything, but it will air, I guess, around three to four weeks first on TV and then also they will publish it on their YouTube channel. I will link this one down below as soon as it's published. But for now, I hope you liked uh, all the behind the scenes that I did. It was actually like the first time I got so much footage because most of the times you're restricted to record anything. But this time I was allowed to say for which company it was and what was the topic about. So yeah, it was a cooking show for a German TV channel. And yeah, it was pretty fun. Uh, we laughed the entire day, even though I screwed up sometimes, but it was still pretty, pretty funny. But now I gotta say, <laughs> I'm really tired, because I was talking the entire time, 
and also with all the lights that are around the set so everything looks smooth they were so hot I turned bright red and since there was no hair and makeup as I already yeah told you that there are probably not gonna be any hair and makeup I looked pretty bad and I got a pimple up there but I guess you can't see so yeah I really hope you like this first or yeah second video more is coming soon I got more pretty exciting projects, uh, I can tease you a bit of it, it's one big commercial shoot and also a really big casting for me, so yeah, I can't wait to show you this and how it turns out at the end and also some videos from other projects I did that are also airing in a couple of weeks, that's why I can publish it earlier. But let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions regarding like behind the scenes, how does it work, what I have to wear, how is the makeup I'm doing or anything else, like how did I get the job, which agency am I with or something like that. Um, then yeah, just ask me and I'll try to do a video on it. And if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment as I already asked. That would mean a lot to me. And also hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you won't miss any videos of mine. And yeah, see you in the next video. Bye! This is uh, the final product. We're not proud of it, but this is as good as it gets. <laughs>